how to change uh, images and text content on WordPress website. So here is our website. First of all, we need to log in. So make sure to add here slash and this one. You can simply put like this and it will be redirected to this page. So please use your login and password. Uh, then we should click on pages. So let's start from beginning. Here is our main page. Uh, on mouse over you will see such options. Make sure to click edit. And it will load Avada Builder. So, uh, for example, we would like to change this background picture with this chair. So, here is, as you can see, all elements are inside this uh, container. So, here it is, full with container, and all elements are inside. So if you uh, on mouse over you will see this uh, pencil, make sure to click on it and select background. Here is your image, what you can change. If you click edit, you can select image from media library or you can upload from your computer. Um, when you change picture, click save and update button and it will load to your website. If you want to change uh, text here, you can see it here. So you should click on this pencil as well. And here is your text that you can change. This one not visible because it's a uh, white color. And here is white background. Uh, if you want to change, uh, for example, this button, here it is, on mouse over, click, it's link for the button, button size, type, colors, you can add, uh, some, for example, small image here, from this uh, library. And this icon will be displayed, you can select from left or from right side. Here is animation effect, what you can change. And button location, so it's, it's now located at center. As well, if uh, you finish editing, click save. And in order to update website, click on update. So let's move forward. For example, uh, let's check this page. When you log in in your WordPress, you can also navigate to any page and you will see here such options. You can click on edit page and uh, it will load uh, Fusion Page Builder. Here are same options. So here you can see. Let me open the page. So here is social links. If you click on edit, I can add more social links, and it will appear here. All uh, text. Uh, buttons, images, also possible to change if you click here. So here, here you can add more text. Uh, as well, you can, for example, remove picture and add new one from add media. Load from your computer or add new one. I'll select picture, click insert, 
now I can resize it and put like this back when done click save and make sure to click update so let's move to another page to projects I'll select from pages so here we see uh, image images uh, gallery project library so to edit these images you can see image carousel it's called one by one and different categories so uh, what you can do is simply you can switch to builder elements and select here image carousel and put it here for example i will put here and then we'll move to the section where i would like to add more uh, more images for example this is a design and i would like to add one more and then click edit and here are all set up but uh, it's uh, but there is another way how to make it more simple i can simply click here it's clone element uh, this is delete element and this one edit element so if i will clone it will duplicate now i can edit these elements uh, with same settings so here is first image second one third one i can edit and upload new new picture here I can upload all pictures and then click save and it will be loaded on website uh, make sure if you're adding uh, pictures uh, these pictures should be same size so uh, height should be same for all this line so for example as you can see this these pictures are this and this picture are different size but uh, these three pictures in line and these four pictures in line are same size same sizes so when adding pictures in image carousel make sure at least uh, these pictures what are in line in one line they should be one size then it will look good um, let's move next to testimonials to, uh, to add more testimonials or for example if you would like to add here uh, images pictures profile pictures uh, I'll show you how to do this click on edit page so here we see all testimonials one by one and after that we see button so um, on mouse over uh, well, to add more testimonials you can simply clone element and then click on edit and here we see so here's our testimonial here we can add name here we can select uh, should we display should we display uh, image of uh, female or male or we can select image and upload a picture of profile picture of this person here we can select border radius for example if you would like to if you upload image and you would like to display it round uh, for example like this uh, then you should type here out or for, for example custom custom size of angle like 20 pixels 
and here we add here we can include testimonial and then click save and update okay so let's move to the last blog page here it is this is the most difficult part to edit its uh, contact page okay, it's loading so here is contact pages in code block so if I will click you can see here it is to edit this contact form you should go to contact contact forms and you will see this form contact form one click on edit here we can if you click on messages here we can select uh, in, uh, messages what you would like to display about success uh, if there is any error you can you can change all these messages if you click on mail you can uh, include here your email and uh, here are all uh, information that will be sent to you and if I will click on form I can add here uh, for example I will show you how to add uh, one more text field to add text field you should put all this label like this and for example we would like to include text for so I'll click here uh, here we should include uh, here we should type this it's a uh, style for our uh, contact form and click on insert and for this text field we would like for example uh, give name sorry I will show you what I mean so for example so we have added this like uh, this uh, text field and now we would like to name it for example uh, your phone number and when done click on save and this text field will be added here so this is how it works like I hope this video helps you and if any questions please make sure to contact me.